Um, with that, it's so important for our growth to also be in the rest area. So that yin and yang. So to, we're very, this next 60 minutes will be all yang. And then we'll allow a little bit of time at the end for some yin. And no shame, no judgment. If you're at home and you need to go, 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 I get it. But if you can allow yourself that 60 seconds of rest, it's something that um, our society really doesn't honor. We honor productivity. And I think we real, I myself totally get caught up in that. I get it. But um, that recovery period after you've gone through a period of growth and that reflection. And so here's the thing that's really uncomfortable too. I think people don't rest because it's uncomfortable because that's when you're, when you sit in silence and you're able to reflect, that's when your inner voice comes up. That's when a lot of guidance comes up. And sometimes that can be uncomfortable because we go deep. That being said, try 60 seconds. Okay. So let's get warmed up, you guys. Um, let's warm up our lower back. We'll just do some spinal articulation. So make that little triangle and have that marble be in the middle. Good. Have your feet right underneath your ankles, right underneath your knees. Make sure your feet and your uh, legs are hip width distance. Slide your shoulders down. So slide your scapulas down. Hub the mat and tuck your chin just a little bit to create length in your vertebrae. So take a deep inhale. And as you inhale, arch your back dramatically, roll that marble down towards your fingertips and then spread your ribs wide open, good. And now we're gonna exhale, we're gonna practice our Pilates breath, exhale through your teeth, shh. And as you exhale, tuck and curl your pelvis back, squeeze your right and your left glute and that marble rolls back towards your thumb. Clench together your hips and your ribs so that you create that hip to rib connection like a corset. And then inhale and arch. Good, good, good. Your thoracic cavity, your heart space completely opens up and then exhale through your teeth. Shh, tuck, engage your glutes here. Engage your core like you're getting ready for that punch. One more time. Inhale, arch. Good, good, good. Exhale, tuck. Shh, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Tight, tight, tight. And relax into neutral spine. Okay, good. Continue with low, warming up lower back. So your fingertips come down by your heels. Good. Pull up your pelvic floor, squeeze that tight, engage your core, take an inhale, tuck your chin, exhale, tuck and curl your pelvis like we just did, but now drive your hip bones up to the ceiling, feel your right and your left, left glute engage here, push down into the mat, spread your fingers wide, make sure that there's one line between your shoulders and your knees, you should still be able to see your kneecaps here, inhale here, and exhale, slowly come down, massage each vertebrae one at a time. Nice, good, one more time, inhale, exhale, tuck, curl, hip bones come up, squeeze at the top, everything is tight at the top, pushing your hands down, equal and opposite motion, driving up through your heels, hip bones come up, inhale, exhale, come down, nice and slow, good, 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 resting at the bottom, so we're going to get into our bridges, always activating glutes. You guys, last class we did one less round of glutes and I have to tell you that my back felt it. So I'm a little tender today. So we're going to do one extra today. <laughs> I know you're really stoked about that. So I'm going to start the playlist and I'll count you guys down. So it should be magnum and we will start in five, four, three, two, one, press and play. Here we go. All right. So make sure your ankles are right underneath your knees, hip width distance apart, fingertips come down towards your heels, little tuck in your chin, bring your shoulder blades down, press your upper back into the mat, take a deep inhale, good, tuck, curl and rise, hip bones come up, squeeze, take a breath in, exhale, come down slow, hover your tailbone at the bottom here, good, come back up, exhale, exhale, up and squeeze, inhale, down and hover, nice and slow at first, here we go. Exhale, up, inhale, down, exhale, up, squeeze, inhale, down and hover, up, squeeze, down, hover. Just like this, squeeze it at the top, good, spread those fingers wide, push down into the mat, warm up our arms, here we go, five, four, three, double time, and two, one, here we go, let's lift, lower, lift, and lower. Good, good. Squeezing at the top. Squeeze, hover, connecting breath and body. Inhale as you come down. Exhale as you come up. Here we go. 
Good. Keep pressing down into the mat. Keep that pelvic floor squeeze tight, tight, tight. This is your opportunity to now really, really pay attention to your glutes firing up as you squeeze at the top for five, four, three, two, and one. Keep your hips up. Heels come up. We'll do some calf raises. So hips or hips, oh, stay up. Heels stay up. Then come down, up and down. Up with the heels, down with the heels. High up, roll them down. Even if you can roll them down slow, always controlling the descent. You'll hear me say that a lot. If those legs are shaking, that's totally okay. That's a good thing. As soon as we start to feel the burn, that's when we know the workout's working. Up and down. Exhale, inhale. Don't forget to breathe. Good, keep that pelvic floor squeezed in tight. Make sure that core, you're waiting for that punch. Engage the core. Your breath will help you engage your core. So as you exhale, inhale. That strong exhale through your teeth will help your core engage. Five, four, three, two, one. Hips up, heels up, pulse it out. Up, up, pulse, pulse. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze. Yeah, yeah. Keep breathing. So good. Oh yeah, up and up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Ooh, yeah, bring your knees in. Stretch out your hamstrings. Roll out your ankles. All right, so a little different. We're gonna start with a figure four. So plant your left foot down, flex your right foot, bring your right ankle over your left knee. Keep that right knee splayed out. Keep your hips square. Hands come down, full range of motion. Here we go, three, two, one. Let's go up and down, up and down. High up, roll it down, up, lift, squeeze. Tight at the top, so keep that foot flex, that right foot flex to protect your knee. Belly is tight. This is a really good opportunity to really pay attention to your belly. Bring that belly button back toward your spine. Keep that pelvic floor pulled in tight. Up and down. Exhale and inhale. Woo. Here we go, here we go. Warming it up. Figure four bridge. It's really like a one-legged bridge. That left glute should be super engaged. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Keep it up and pull, pull, pull. Hips are square. You may have to make that right hip come down a little bit. Pull it up, 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 and up. Squeeze that left glute. I know you'll really start to feel this in the left glute if you stomp that left foot down. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Belly's tight, pelvic floor is pulled in tight. <laughs> Almost there. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, hang on, 6, 5, last 4, just 3, 2, and 1. Bring it down. Woo, right to the other side. So plant that right foot down. Flex your left foot. Bring that left ankle across the right knee. Keep that left knee out lateral, square your hips, three, two, one, here we go. Lift, lower, lift, and lower. Exhale, inhale. Here we go. Squeeze your right glute, squeeze it when you come up, all the way up. Oh yeah. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Up and down, up and down. You have five, four, keep that left foot flex, three, two, so we pulse, last one, keep it up and pull, 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 Woo! oh yeah, I don't know why my right is really feeling it today, that burn, love that burn, activating of these glutes, Woo! put less pressure on our back, they will stay active, stay engaged, yeah, keep that belly sucked in tight. Almost there. Almost there. Five, four, 
three, two, one, and change. Good, bring it down. Bring those knees in, circle the ankles. Woo, set it up, wide-legged bridges. So feet are at least shoulder width distance apart. Toes are pointed out, that will activate your glute lead. Feel her in. I want you guys to flex your feet. So toes come back towards your shins. Full range of motion, three, two, one, let's go. Lift, lower, lift, and lower. Up, and down, squeeze them tight at the top. Let's go, up, up, yeah, yeah. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Use that Pilates breath. Yeah, yeah. We have four, three, two, and one. Keep your hips up, keep your feet flexed, pulse your knees out, pulse them out, out, out. Don't let them come in any far as your toes. So you want to keep your knees tracked over your toes. Keep your feet flexed, keep pulling them out. Out, out, keep those hips up, keep that pelvic floor pulled in tight. Keep pressing down on the mat with your arms, warming up our triceps here. Shoulders stay away from the ears, that little tuck in your chin, and that smile on your face. Woo! Even if you're not feeling smiley, just curl your lips. I swear your physiology, your neurotransmitters will recognize that smile. They'll produce some good feeling hormones. You're about to get an uh, endorphin overload here, I promise. Here we go, pulse it out for five, four, three, two, one, hips, pulse. Here we go, pulse. This is the last stretch right here. Home stretch, come on. Up, 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 feet are flexed. Woo, toes are out, heels are in. Let's go, let's go. Feel right, left, and glute. Left glute, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. All the way, all the way. We got this, we got this. We have 10. Nine, eight, seven, six. Hang on, last five. Go all the way. Four, last three, two, one, and done. Roll it down. Ah! Oh, yeah. Release your lower back. Bring those knees in. Stretch out your hamstrings. All right. So we're going to get into the core, get into our workout. I should have mentioned this at the beginning. Sorry. Hopefully you have water and a towel. Um, if you have weights or water bottles or cans, grab them. We'll use them for a little bit of the workout. If you don't have that stuff, it's okay. Um, we'll, I'll show you what to do and you're gonna get plenty, plenty workout, so don't worry. We'll get right into core. If you do have a weight or a water bottle, you can grab it, small weight is fine. So we have uh, three moves. We're gonna do them four times. First move, your heels are gonna be down on the mat. All right, take your weight. We're gonna just be making little circles. We lean back when we come around the back and we crunch forward when we come up top with our weight. Little halos. All right, woo, don't lean back too far. All right, so then second move, you can do a couple things. You can have the weight in the middle and you can just come up and tap. Or if you don't have a weight or a water bottle, just do knee to elbow, seated knee to elbows. It's like you start in a boat pose. Here, third move, you're just gonna do leg lifts. You're gonna stick your hands right underneath your booty. Have your torso up or your torso down. Legs come up, legs come down. That's it. Three moves, four rounds. Set it up. Here we go. Let's get the timer going. Are you going? Five, four. Three, two, one, halos. Let's go. There you go. Around. You pick a side. We'll reverse it when we're about halfway through. Bring it way back. Back as far as you can. We'll reverse directions in three, two, one. Go the other way. Woo! Oh yeah, lean back, come forward. We'll transition to those knee to elbows in three, two, one. Good, knee to elbow, or you can touch the weight, opposite hand, three, two, one, let's go. Lean back, lean back. Oh yeah, upper and lower abs right here. Oh 
Beautiful. Suck that lower belly in. Keep that pelvic floor tight. Protect your lower back. We'll go to those leg lifts. We'll transition in three, two, one. Good. Come down onto your back. Torso, upper torso down. Legs come up. Good. Flex. Let them come down nice and slow. Point your toes. Have them come up. Flex. Come down. Only go down as far as your lower back will stick onto the mat. All right, nice and slow, slow and controlled. Always controlling the descent. Woo! Now, if you want to amplify this move, you can add a little hip, hip pulse at the top. We'll go from the top in three, two, one. Here we go, transition up. Those halos, here we go, three, two, one. If you don't have a weight, and you're just using your hands, that's totally good. You're gonna get the workout, especially if you're leaning way back, coming forward for that crunch. We'll reverse directions in three, two, one, other way. Oh yeah. Lean back, crunch forward. The opposite elbow to opposite knee, coming up in three, two, one, transition, here we go. Ready, set, and go. Oh, yeah. Quarantine quick pack right here. Woo! Tighten up the waistline. Oblique ones here, too. Full body right now. Oh, yeah. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Less than 10 seconds. Next move is those leg lifts. You want to amplify with those leg lifts? Little hip pulse at the top. You have three. Two, one, transition on your back. Woo! Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Point your toes on the way up. Flex your feet on the way down. Torso can be up or torso can be down. Woo! Breathe, breathe, breathe. Go all the way. Woo! This is our hump round right here. We're halfway after this. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Three, two, one, transition from the top. Here we go, halos. Three, two, one, let's go. Woo! Yeah, yeah, let's go. All the way. Now if your lower back is starting to bother you, you can come down onto your forearms and just do one at a time leg lift. We'll transition up to those opposite elbow, opposite knee in three, two, one. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. Let me see you guys. Oh, working so hard. Woo! Go, Tiffany, go, Tiffany, go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can see. Get it, girl. Almost there. Less than 10 seconds. You guys look amazing. So strong, so strong. Pushing to that threshold. Leg lifts in three, two, one. Here we go, on our back. Three, two, one, let's go. Good. Point your toes, come up. Little hop if you want. Control the descent down. Oh yeah. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Exhale up. Inhale down. Coming up to our last round in less than 10 seconds. Woo. Oh, yeah. We got it, we got it, we got it. All the way, all the way. Three, two, one, and change. Woo, last round, that's round. Our abs, they know what to do right now. Halo, three, two, one, let's go. Lean back, come around. Oh yeah, little round the world action, round the world angel halo action, Woo! less than 10, opposite knee to opposite elbow coming up, here we go, last three, two, one, transition, stretch it out, Woo! three, two, one, let's go, last round of these, last 30 seconds, 
Exhale as you come in. Exhale as you go. Inhale as you come back. Lean back, lean back. Woo. Let's go, let's go all the way. 10 seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And transition on your back. Last round, best round. Here we go. Best round yet. 30 seconds. Last chance for abs. Three, two, one, and go. Leg lift. Oh, yeah. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Lower abs right now. Some of the hardest area to target. Keep that pelvis floor tucked in tight. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. All right, best five right here. Four, three, two, one, and you are done. Woo! Take a full body stretch. Stretch it out. So good, so good. All right. Amazing. All right, so we're going to get on to some side plank action. So come on to your, really, we're going to be at both sides. So come on to your favorite side, whatever side you want to start with. So you're going to keep your bottom leg down. You're going to start with your hips up, your leg extended, and your arm extended. We're going to dip our hips down as we crunch elbow to knee. So it's a hip dip with an extension, hips are up and then crunch hips come down. If you want to amplify this with a weight, you can add a weight in your hand for your crunches. All right, two rounds on the right, two rounds on the left. We'll alternate each side. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Good, good, good. Reach, 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 reach. Crunch, knee to elbow. Reach, knee to elbow. Good, suck your belly in. Belly button comes towards your spine. Make sure your shoulder, your elbow are in one line. Nice and slow and controlled. Really getting into that waistline right here. I know Chris appreciates this. Three, two, one. Change. All right, left side or whatever, or the opposite side. All right, start extended. Bottom leg down, three, two, one, let's go. Woo! Good, belly's tight. Keep that pelvic floor pulled in tight. Really extend, get length with that extension. Exhale on those crunch. Here we go, here we go, all the way. Three, two, one. Good, transition, other side. Last time, each side. Three, two, one. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Almost there, almost there. Have five, four, three, two, one. And change. Last time. Other side. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go again and crunch. Oh, yeah. Really, really pay attention to the obliques, to the waist. Each time we crunch in, getting tighter and tighter. Here we go, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, change. Woo. Let's go with that. All right, if you want to get into a quick child pose, feel free. We're going to stand up. So grab a sip of water if you want. You can towel off if you want. So, all right, you guys. We're gonna get kind of crazy. So we have, for this round, we have six moves. We're gonna do three rounds. So, 
Weights or no weights, you're gonna get a great workout either way. I'm gonna get my weights ready. So first move, you're gonna get into a chair squat. You can have weights to chest if you want. So a chair squat, we're gonna start with the right leg. You're just gonna go out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, just with the right side. Second move, frog squat with a front shoulder press, or with a hammer curl, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so you're just gonna come down and up, weights in your heels, toes are out, heels are in. Keep that neutral spine. Third move, if you've got weights, great. So you're gonna put the weight on your leg, left leg is standing, right leg, lateral pulses. All right, from here, if you do have weights, you can put both weights in one hand, Right hand is out for balance, both weights in your left hand. Frog squat, come up to a front shoulder press. Squat, front shoulder press. If you don't have weights, if you're just doing frog squats with a calf raise, you're gonna get just as much benefit. From there, we're gonna do some tricep push-ups with some renegade rows. I'll cue you when we get there. The last move you have choices. If you want more cardio today, get into some wide-legged burpees. If you want more glutes today, you're gonna get into some donkeys, all right? Weighted donkeys or no weight, your choice, okay? So now that they know that we know what the moves are, I'll remind you, don't worry, I'll extend all the cues, set it up, here we go. Standing, starting with that squat, chair squat, out, out, in, in. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, here we go, squat, out, out, in, in, let's go, out, out, in, in, get low, in, in, good, stick your butt out, weights in your heels, don't step too far out, we don't want to do a lateral lunge, we want to stay in that squat, going to the frog squat with the hammer curls in three, two, one, transition. If you've got weights, grab them. Three, two, one, here we go. Squat, hammer curl. If you don't have the weights, don't worry about it. Just do frog squats. Toes are out, heels are in. Feet are at least shoulder width distance apart. Good, come up, drive up through your heels. Squeeze your butt when you get to the top. Good, a little thrust at the top. Control the descent. Good, keep your shoulders back and your chest up. Beautiful, three, two, one, change, good. Left hand is stabil it adds stability. Right hand, if you have weight, lateral pulses. Right leg, pulse, 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 good. Oh yeah, feel it, feel it, feel it. Good, now don't lean over too much. Kind of try to stand up straight. Really make that right leg work. Micro bend your left leg. From here, both weights in one hand. We're gonna do that frog squat up to a front shoulder press. Five, four, three, two, one, set it up. Ready, set, let's go. Frog squat, front shoulder press. If you don't have weights and you just wanna do a squat with a calf raise, that's awesome. Good, this is totally a cardio move if you wanna go fast. But keep your alignment. It's more about keeping alignment. Exhale up. Keep your chest up. Shoulders back. Five, four, three, two, one. Change. Come down. Woo! Come into your tricep push up with a renegade row. So you're on your knees, you're on your toes. Tricep push up. Row, row, tricep push up. Oh yeah. If you don't have weights or you're not feeling it, you can ditch the row. Just do tricep push-ups on your knees or on your toes. From here, you get to choose burpees or donkey kicks. Let's set it up. Three, two, one. I'm doing burpees for the first round. Let's go. I'm even gonna add a front shoulder press to my burpees. Woo! Let's go, let's go. Why not? It's Wednesday, we made it. You guys know me, I love cardio. 
if you're not doing burpees with me, you're doing donkeys. Full range of motion donkey kicks. Let's go, let's go. All the way. Couple more seconds. Go, 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 go. Three, two, one. Change. From the top. Here we go. Get in that squat. Three, two, one. Squat. Out. Out. In. In. Yeah, yeah. Woo. So good. Go, Casey. Go, Casey. Go. Woo. Yeah, Tiffany. Yeah, Monica. I'm getting in. Here we go. Less than 10. Frog squat with a hammer stroke coming up. Five, four, three, two, one. Let that go. Hammer curl the front foot. Three, two, one. Let's go. Lean back. Stick your booty out. Pull your pelvic floor in. Drive up through your heels. Squeeze your booty. Squeeze it at the top. Phew. Feel your power as you come up. Draw energy in through your solar plexus. Couple more. Three, two, one. Change. Right leg, lateral pulses. Let's go. Stand up straight. Good. Shoulders back, chest up. Belly is tight. Woo! So good, so good. From here we go to those squats. One arm, both weights in our left arm. So the front shoulder press. Less than 10. All right, can you squeeze your butt here? Can you pull your pelvic floor in? Everything is tight. Three, two, one, shade. Both weights, one hand. Right hands out for stability. Three, two, one, let's go. Front shoulder press. Keep good alignment. Go as fast or slow as you can. Let's go, let's go. Squeeze your belly tight. Again, you're squeezing your butt, thrusting your hips forward when you come up. Exhale up. Inhale down. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Woo! Three, two, one. Change. Let's go. Tricep push up. Woo! The renegade go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Down. And up. Row. And row. Elbows in towards your ribs. On your knees or on your toes. Pull that belly button back towards your spine. Here we go, here we go. Get two more in. That's one. And two. Here we go. Donkeys or wide legged burpees. I'm switching it up, going to donkeys. I'm putting the weight behind my right knee. Three, two, one. Let's go. Don't worry, you'll have a chance on the other side if you want. Yeah, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Pull your belly in tight if you're doing burpees. You come down and up in that frog squat. Who's doing burpees? Oh yeah, Casey's doing them. Woo! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. From the top, last round, last go through. Here we go. Squat with that out, out, in, in. Here we go. Squat, out, out, in, in. Go low. Last chance for these. Go as low as you can. Let's see if we can get our thighs parallel to the mat. Woo! Belly tight. Weights in your heels. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. James, frog squat, hammer curl. Let's go, three, two, one. Let's go. Drive it up. Right now, open up your peripheral vision. Allow energy to flow in through your crown. Feel it all the way down in your solar plexus. Let that help drive you up. Squeeze it at the top. Five, four, three, two, one, change, lateral, same leg, right leg, 
Hold on, let's go. <laughs> Here we go. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Breathe, catch your breath a little bit here. Squeeze that right glute. Stand up straight. Shoulders are back and down. Chest is up. Yeah, yeah. Pulse it, pulse it, pulse it. Ha! Ah, find that drishti gaze if it gets windy. Five, four, three, two, one. Change. Both ways go into the left hand. Right hand down for stability. Let's go. Squat. Front shoulder pressed. Yeah, yeah. Toes are light. Keep that neutral spine. Keep that pelvic floor pulled in tight. Woo! So much strength right here. With your glutes engaged, your hamstrings, your quads, your abs, your shoulders. Full body right here. Last five seconds, making the best. Four, three, two, one, and change. Woo! So good, where are we? Oh yeah, tricep push-up in a row. Three, two, one, let's go. Up and up. Elbows stay in, so do it. No kicking wings. Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. Here we go. Three, two, one, change. Donkeys in our way, look at burpees. Last round, best round, let's go. I'm doing burpees. I come down and up in the front squat. You can walk it or hop it into that plank. Woo! This is where we are knocking on the door. We are at the threshold of discomfort. <laughs> Dip your toe, how far can you go? Let's go. Come on. Less than 10 seconds left. Explode right here. Five, four, three, two, one, and change. So good, so good. High five, y'all. Beautiful. Give yourself a minute to recover. Towel off. Drink a sip of water. Don't guzzle, just take a sip. We got another round, all right? Next round, similar but not. So we have five moves. We're gonna do three rounds. First move is the same with the other leg. Left leg out, out, and in. Second move, instead of those frog squat hammer curls, you're gonna do heavy pants. If you're with me on Monday, I'm pretty sure you might be still feeling the heavy pants. Okay, weights or no weights. You just come down and up, but you don't come all the way up, neither with your arms or your legs. All right, it's a pretty fast move. It's a cardio move. From there, lateral, left leg pulls out, other hand with that front shoulder press. And then the last one, we're gonna skip the tricep push-ups and we'll go either to burpees or donkey kicks. If you wanna add a push-up to your uh, burpees, feel free. All right, that's it. All right, simple, simple moves. Repetition, time under tension, builds muscle. Let's get ready to set it up. Starting with that squat, squat. Weight or no weight on your chest. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Squat down. Left leg out, out, in. In, get low, get low. So good, so good. Now, make sure your shoulders are square. Gap your is even pushed together a little bit. Away from your ears. Belly is super tight. Oh yeah, get low, get low. We have five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, change. Heavy pants. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Keep those knees. Track it over your toes. Don't let them bow in. Good, chest up, chin up. Belly is super tight. Come up with those elbows. Don't come all the way up with your legs. Go, 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 go. 
from the side. Neutral spine. Weights in your heels. Stick your booty out. Almost there and change. Woo! Lateral pulses left leg. Here we go. Pulse it out. Woo! It's windy in here for me. Find your drifty gaze. Try not to lean over to the right too much. Stand up straight. Belly's tight. Whether you flex or point your toe, either way, just engage that leg. Don't make it be floppy. Always controlling the descent. Three, two, one, and change. Good. Both weights in the right hand. Frog squat to a front shoulder press. Let's go. Let's go. Three, two, one, and go. Oh, yeah. Some of you might be doing frog squats with calf raises. Woo! Oh, yeah. Keep that neutral spine. Keep that chest up and that chin up when you come down. Don't let your upper body collapse. You guys look amazing. Woo! Three, two, one. Change. Burpees or donkey kicks. Add that push up if you want to your burpees. Three, two, one. Let's go. Woo! I'm skipping the push ups, but I'm adding a front shoulder press. Coming down and up in that frog squat. Going as fast or slow as you want. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one. Change from the top. Left leg out, out, and in. Three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, yeah. This is our hump round on hump day. Get low. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Come on, get low. Let me see you guys drop lower. Oh, yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Change. Heavy pants. Set it up. Three, two, one. Let's go. Yeah, get up, get up. Breathe, breathe, breathe. You have less than 20 seconds. Keep those knees out. Waist in your heels, toes your legs. Shoulders back and down. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Change. Woo! Let's go. Lateral pulses. Left leg. Three, two, one. Let's go. Yeah. Always controlling distance. Stand up straight. Shoulders back. Find your balance. They say as we age, our balance gets worse and worse. Not for us. Not for IHP people. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Change. Good. Weights in your right hand. Left hand out for stability. Frog squat push it. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Feel your strength. Your body knows what to do. Push it. But don't hurt it. Listen to it. Feel so good when you listen to your body. Your body listens to you. Your mind is your biggest limiter. Tell your body what you want it to do. And it will follow. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Change. Burpees or donkey kicks. I'm doing donkey kicks just to stay even. Left leg. Three, two, one. Here we go. Let's go. Who's doing what? Oh, yeah. Casey's got her cardio going on. Oh, yeah. So good, so good. You guys are kicking it. Woo! Let's go. Monica, Chris, they've got their donkeys. They're getting their glutes. Woo! Go, Tiffany. Oh, yeah, Erin. There we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and change from the top. Here we go. Last round. Best round. Out, out, in, in. Three, two, and let's go. 
out, out, in, in. Woo! Get low, this is our last chance for the whole night. How low can you go? Weights in your heels. No, you just have five, four, get low, three, two, one, change, heavy pants, five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Cardio move right here. Get it. Pump day Wednesday, let's go. Way over halfway. Go all the way, all the way. Let's go, let's go. Weight in your heels. Keep your chest up. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Change. Woo, right side. Squat, good shoulder press. Three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, yeah. So low. All the way down. All the way up. Squeeze your booty at the top. Totally fine if you're using momentum to go up. Just like we said, control the descent. Last round coming up after this. In three, two, one. Yay! Burpees are donkeys. Same side. Three, two, one. Let's go. Back 30 seconds of your night right here. Explode. Yes. Get it, get it. Go all the way. We don't quit when we're trying to when we are done. We are 10 seconds. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Last five, four, three, two, one, and change. Phew. So good. Oh, you guys, so great. Towel off. Take some water. Major high five. All right. So let's stretch it out a little bit. <sighs> so you can find your favorite stretch, whatever feels good to you. For me, I'm going to squeeze out or stretch out my glutes and my hamstrings. So figure four, just like those bridges in the beginning, I'm going to start with my right leg, right ankle on top of my left knee, flexing my right foot to protect my knee. And if it feels good, thread the needle, ah, stretch it out. You'll feel that stretch your right glute, hamstrings. You can even rock back and forth, massage your kidneys. And if it feels good, you can actually rotate, keep your feet where they are, but just plant your right foot on the ground, left knee comes on the ground, keep both shoulders square, and you can either gaze to the right, really stretching out your obliques and your hip flexors, Focus on your breath. Have it come back to normal cadence. Feel your heart rate come back to normal cadence. When you're ready, bring that leg back up. Good. Plant that right foot down. Left foot comes up and over. Flex that left foot. You're going to cross your right knee. Thread the needle. Ah, so good. Feels so good. I like to rock back and forth. Adds a little more depth to the stretch. Massages my kidneys. And then I'm gonna bring that left foot, plant it down to the right side. Little twist, keeping both shoulders on the mat. Start to notice your body, start to notice the tingle. Start to notice that little elevated level of vibration. You created that. All right, come back when you're ready. Bring 
both knees into your chest. Grab opposite hands with opposite elbows. Good, and then squeeze your knees towards your face, squeeze your face towards your knees. Squeeze your elbows and everything tight into the tightest way you can. Take an inhale. And exhale, just release. Ah, release into Shavasana. And here is where we are going to really challenge ourselves. We're gonna push into that uncomfortable zone of rest. And we are gonna rest for at least 60 seconds. Give yourself permission to just let go. Give your body permission to just melt into the mat. And just notice how good it feels to feel supported. You're supported not just by the mat beneath, beneath you, the ground beneath you, the whole earth beneath you. Feel the earth rising up to meet your body on your inhales. Feel a surrender in yourself as you exhale and let go. We are reminded how we are supported as a little Pilates community here. Even though we are not together in the flesh, my goal is so that you feel that elevated vibration on the mat and you carry that with you off the mat and that extends out into the world. That ripple effect is to be felt whether you are in physical connection or not. Energy cannot be destroyed, it can be transferred. So as you do this practice for you, it is as much for everybody else around you as it is for you. And for that, you should be proud and grateful. I am super grateful for each and every one of you for showing up day obviously as long as you wish I see you and I enjoy having all of you I feel your energy for these classes thank you for supporting me for supporting each other thank you for all the work that you do your practice and your power you guys brought it tonight enjoy the rest of your week Mwah. namaste